Hi, I'm Ariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you, Harold? I'm good, Ariana. What were y'all just talking about? Fresh Pair of what? I have no idea. It's just oh, Fresh Pair of Two. You said eyes. Oh, now oh, I got yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> two eyes. We got two terrible. eyes. But like... <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hi, Ariana. I'm sorry. Let's, it's let's okay. start from the beginning. <laughs> We yeah. set the time. Go. Ariana, <laughs> fresh pair of eyes. Hey, what's Hi. up? Hi. <laughs> so you played Dean for like six years on Claws, and then you, right after, are playing a completely different character right. on Hum, which obviously you've done as an actor, but you're you're spending such a large amount of time with these characters. What was it like to have a flip of a coin play this completely, totally different character? You, well, it was, um, uh, uh, you know, it's what I love to do, right? Like, so, like, and so it was really challenging. Look, look, Dean was really challenging to, uh, and, and, and I find it hard to escape Dean because there's so much that I've invested in him. I'll do something and my kids would be like, you look just like Dean. And I, I'm like, well, you know, I'm your dad, so shut up. Uh, <laughs> um, not that harsh, but you know, then to, to flip over and then to find this other guy who's who's grounded in a very different way, who's who's um, who's looking for something uh, really really different, um, a, a person who has you know theoretically he 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 um, he has a clear path for himself, you know, and a way to get to it. He finds himself in this situation where there are no clear paths, and so I, I feel like those things are really things that I think about all the time, things that I think are really compelling, things that, things that I think audience members will be interested in and attracted to. Um, and so for me, it was a really great, it was a really great switch up, you know, from Dean, who I love, and was a really sweet person, to Boyd, who we, especially in the beginning, had real questions about, like, is he like, is he a nice guy? Is he good? like, well, we don't really know. And so for me, that was a really interesting uh, a switch up to make, and and so I was I was like, let's take that challenge. Let's let's see what's happening here. Yes, and well, people listen to Boyd. I don't think it's just because he's found the talismans. I think maybe they were just thirsting for leadership. But why do you think everyone literally is like, okay, Boyd's the leader. We're going to listen to him. <laughs> well, I, I I think what 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 people you know don't realize is that when something really scary and traumatic happens most people freeze, like they don't know what to do. And they freeze and sometimes to their own detriment. But one of the things that you get trained in, especially if you're in uh, any part of the armed, force, armed forces or uh, the service community, theoretically what you are being trained for is when it goes down, freezing is not even close to the option. And so I think that's what makes Boyd, when he comes in here, he has some experience and believes that he has enough experience to lead these people out of here, uh, out of this. I think he feels like I've seen things like this before. Maybe not exactly this, but I've seen people in trouble like this, and I can get us out of here. And then when we get to season two, even he realizes, like, oh, maybe that was a little bit of hubris. Maybe I can't get them out of here. And so yeah. now he's got to figure it out even more. Yes. <laughs> So in the from town, you basically have what just happens to be in your car. What do you hope happens to be your, in your car if you were ever in this type of situation? <laughs> what I hope is in my car? Yeah. How about what I hope isn't in my car? I hope I'm not in my car. Uh, <laughs> but if I am in my car, I don't think his gun was a bad thing to have. Not like I'm not screaming, you know. Everybody should have guns, but as a trained military person, um, even though I'm glad that he had that. And, you know, I'm glad that this is so stupid, but I'm glad that he had his wits and experience because that's the thing, right? That's the thing that's going to, if I'm with my kids and I, and I get into something like that, I'm hoping that my, my, my wits and my experience will give me enough, uh, enough self-reflection to go like, I can keep them safe. And then, and then, you know, head out trying to do that. Keep them safe. Like if we all get out of here together, then then I have done my job. And so, hopefully, that that's what I have about me, my my brains, my wits, my uh, experience. That's, awesome. And, yeah. Yes. 
Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I hope to talk to you about future projects and future seasons, of course. I, I hope so too, Ariana. And hopefully you got enough time and we didn't, you know, mess you up with the, uh, the, with the, with the getting part of it. <laughs> it's, it's a conversation starter for sure. There it is. Okay, we'll finish the conversation more. <laughs> okay, awesome. You have a good one. Thank you so much. You too. Thanks. Bye.